Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to discuss about accounting for bad debts. As we know that there are two methods to record accounting for bad debts. Number one, direct rights off method and number two, allowance method. Now we focus on how to prepare the accounting for bad debts under direct rights off methods. What is mean by direct rights of method? Account receivable are returns of and bad debt expenses is recorded when the business determines that it will never collect from a specific customer. Once an account receivable is returned off, the company stops pursuing the collection. So we have to record in the general entry for rights of bad debt. So, debit expenses because it will increase the expenses in the company and credit account receivable because it will reduce the amounts of receivable when we write off bad debts. Now, we look at the example one, write off account receivable or write off bad debt. On 31st December 2090, the company determined that it will not able to collect RM200 from customer debit. So the company would write off the, com the customer's account receivable by debiting bad debt expenses and crediting the customer's account receivable as follows. So we have to prepare the general entry to write off account receivable. So this is the format of general entry, debit, bad debt expenses with the amount of 200 and credit, account receivable, the customer's name is debit, 200. So we have to credit account receivable because it will reduce the amount of receivable in a financial statement. So look at example 2 to write off account receivable. Lassie Enterprise had the following transaction had occurred during the year 2020. On 24th July, 2020, the company recognized a debtor, Remy, was declared bankrupt and unable to pay his debt, 10000 And another transaction on 10 August 2020, Jason could not pay his debt, RN30,000. So prepare general entry for each transaction. From the general entry, we have to write off account receivable for Remy and Jason with the different date. The first one, 24th July, debit bad debt, then 1000 and credit account receivable dash Remy, 10000 So we have to record write off account receivable. And the second time transaction, debit bad debt, then 30,000, 13,000, and credit account receivable for Jason, 13,000. So, this will reduce the amount of account receivable and just write off account receivable for both of account receivable, Remy and Jason. That's all for the method of rights of method. Don't forget to watch next video. Accounting for bad debt using allowance method. Percentage of receivables. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you.